Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to AFCAST Tenerife Afternoons. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. On today's show, we're going to have a little bit of weather. We're going to have the rest of the COVID situation. We're going to nip over to JanetAnscombe.com and see what the headlines are over there. And have a quick look at the government website as well. I'm recording this today and also on YouTube. So if you want to see what it'll look like or what the weather's really like, nip over to youtube.com slash LWMST. We also have a page on Facebook and we put pictures up on Instagram. Living with MS Tenerife, stay to the end for all the details. So enjoy the show. It's Friday, 19th of March, 2021. Well, there's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, as they say. And the weather's been wonderful the last couple of days. Blue skies, not a cloud in sight. A little bit hazy over La Gomera. Temperatures in the low 20s. A lot hotter in the sun, of course. Looking towards next week. All the same. Sun, 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 till the daddy took the bluebird away. And that was your weather for today, 19th of March, 2021. COVID-19 update. Here's your update for the 18th at 2 o'clock. Canary Islands total 4,117, that's down from the day before. Tenerife, 2,184, that's down also from the day before. Arona, 86 is down. Adeki, 111, slightly up. And Granadilla de Abona is slightly down at 87. The seven-day average is also on the downward trend at 74.8. And that was your COVID for today. So now we're going to head over to Janet Anscombe, and I think she's only got one headline today, and we'll read that. And of course the headline is Living with Covid. No social groups in private spaces, no eating or drinking inside public ones. Curfew remains 10 p.m. and Tenerife sealed off part from permitted reasons to travel. So here we go. This is the standard uh, post with all the details in it and she updates it regularly. Today's update is talking about the new measures for Easter and also the temporary measures. So uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, update for 19th of March. People are confused by the new Level 3 measures because they seem to be so similar to the reinforcement Level 2 that we've been under. And now there are new Easter measures too. I've updated the list in bold above from the government's announcements so that it's correct as of Sunday night when Level 3 comes into force at midnight and added in the Easter measures that will be in place just for the fortnight the 26th of March through to the 9th of April. But all this needs confirmation from the publishing measures when they appear in the BOC probably tomorrow. So we're talking about something that we think is going to happen, uh, but we're not going to confirm it until the BOC comes out. But usually Janet's uh, quite got a finger on the pulse here, so I trust it. Uh, the biggest change we will notice, I imagine, is that the consumption inside bars and restaurants won't be possible in Level 3. Places will be able to remain open until midnight for home takeout and deliveries, but they'll have to close the public at 10pm for curfew. In addition, groups will be limited to four in public spaces, but get-togethers in people's homes will not be possible. Private spaces will be restricted to just those living together. Level 3 will also close off Tenerife with entry and departure only for permitted reasons, uh, the ones we're all used to. For example, returning home, for work, medical, legal banks, etc. We have all these measures until the 9th of April. So it looks like the uh, they're getting really, really strict again now. 
Uh, that means that we can't do balcony banter on Wednesday here, but we could theoretically do balcony banter out in the street or in a bar. So we'll keep you updated on that. So thank you again for Janet Anscombe for a wonderful website, lots of great information there. Nip on over and give us some love. So let's go and see what's happening at the government websites. I believe not a lot. And as I thought, the only headline there really that's changed since the last time is the temporary measures for COVID-19 for the Easter week. Um, so basically nothing new there, but if you want to go over and see if there's anything changes, you can go to gobiernodicanarias.org. It's a little bit early, so I don't have an email from Cleo yet. So uh, that's going to be it for today. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on Aftcast Tenerife Afternoons on your favourite podcasting platform or directly at anchor.fm slash LWMST. You can also reach us in YouTube at youtube.com slash LWMST. And don't forget, we go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5.55. Tonight we're down at Little Germany with maybe a special guest, but we're not confirming that just yet. We've also got a page on Facebook at LWMST and we publish pictures of food mostly to Instagram, Living with MS Tenerife. We are on Twitter, but we don't really read it that much. If you're a Twitterer, go to LWMS Tenerife. And don't forget, timothydowd.com for all your needs. You can send me a message, learn how to sponsor the channel. You can also find out how to join me live Monday, Wednesday, Friday on screen. And of course, all the blogs and the diary of where we're going to be. So go to timothydowd.com and I'll see you in the next one.